I'm the community archaeologist for the National Park and I'm here out at St Patrick's Chapel um, which you can see on this panel behind me which is a reconstruction of the site and you can just see this site is just over just on the edge with the beach um, and as it says here we know that this was a medieval chapel site and there's currently an excavation taking place at the site. So I'm just by the fence um, where the excavation is taking place behind this fence and you can see some notice here and essentially uh, it's possible for people to come out and um, basically have a guided tour around the excavation. Um, so if you are planning to be in the area or you're in the area this is a great opportunity to come out, meet the team who are excavating and ask them questions and just get a tour. And um, the excavation is going to be happening now for the next six weeks so it's uh, uh, covering June and also into um, a few weeks of July as well. So I just wanted to highlight one of the really important reasons that we are carrying out this excavation. So you can see here this fantastic view. The site is right next to the sea, next to the beach. And of course that brings it with itself a bit of threat to the site. And I just wanted to show you how vulnerable the site is. And one of the reasons that we're doing these excavations is as a sort of mitigation um, to those issues. So hopefully you can see how close the chapel is and we've had previous rescue excavations back in 2014. Um, so this is a continuation and it's really so that we can save all the archaeological evidence that we can before, unfortunately, the site is affected by coastal erosion. So hopefully this provides you with a little bit of context as to why it's important that we carry out this research. So I'm now inside the excavation area and I just wanted to show you that where this is the, the very start of day two of the excavations here. Um, it's really early, so there's no one here. But I just wanted to provide an opportunity just to, to show you around what's been done so far. So we can see that some turf has been removed from the top layer and also you'll see over here some, some of the mound of earth, soil and a mixture of sand. And then what we can see over here is we can see actually what's been removed so far. And essentially, at the moment, there's not much really to see. However, um, it's about two years since we last did an excavation here. And so we're essentially at the moment looking at the top layer and it'll be a case of going down and then hopefully um, continuing that research that started two years ago. So I'm hoping to provide an opportunity for people who can't come out to the site to actually um, see the progress over the next six weeks hopefully um, but if you are in the area or you are planning to come to the area do visit and have one of those guided tours and that way you can ask questions and you can see yourself what's actually happening but if not I'm hoping to come out here once a week and provide a bit of an update of what's happening.